scratch down to seven starters in the fourth race, second elimination for the Kentucky Sire Stakes. Again, the top two guaranteed a spot in the final, and Nello has gone off stride behind the gate. And they're off. No bank guarantee is out for the lead. Proud chippers there from between horses. No bank guarantee. Show in the whip trying to protect rail position. David on the board will drop in. And proud chipper is off stride. Proud chipper went off stride while bidding for the lead on the opening turn. So David on board has room to drop in second. Bow Baby Bo is third. And here comes San Vic who's pressing on. And he now moves up into third on the outside. Further back to fifth is Justice Hall. Bad break by Proud Chipper. That cost him a lot of ground. He's sixth. And Nello jumped it off behind the gate. He's far behind, trailing the field. Opening quarter up 28 and 4. And Tector is on the move with David on the board, who pops out of the pocket. And David on the board glides up smoothly to grab the front. No bank guarantee back in second. And just as David on the board made the lead, San Vic will challenge on the outside. And San Vic, with impressive acceleration, is up quickly to grab command well before the half mile marker. Bo Baby Bo is watching the action from fourth, and Justice Hall showing the whip as fifth as they draft along through a 58 and 4 half mile split. Further back to Proud Chipper, and Nello trails the field. So San Vic in the controlling spot on the far turn, and David on the board is in behind him second. Miller makes a move with Bo Baby Bo with three eights to go, and Bo Baby Bo is already up into third. He's just two lengths from the lead. David on the board set in, so he's now locked in behind San Vic. And picking up cover, Justice Hall, who's second over at the rail in fifth, is no bank guarantee as they move past three quarters in 130 flat and come to the top of the stretch. And it's Sandvik on the lead, and Sandvik has opened up now to a two and a half length margin. David on the board is chasing in second. Bo Baby Bo third. Justice Hall tips off his cover. He's coming on, but it's Sandvik still in front. David on the board takes a shot at him up the pylon, still two lengths away. Tactor holding him together. Justice Hall on the outside third sand Vic never an anxious moment sand Vic wins again from david on the board and justice hall in 158 and one results have been posted official making his way back to the winner circle number seven sand Vic, now a seven-time winner during his freshman season he's a mr Vic colt out of cindy q by american winner all by Bill Sanders of Stevenson, Alabama, trained by Jim Arledge Jr. and Don Irvine Jr. is in the sulky. Sand Vic winning in a career best time tonight of 158 and 15. The Red Mile welcomes Jerry Snyder of Holly Lane Farms to make the trophy presentation to the very impressive Mr. Vic trotting freshman Sand Vic and driver Don Irvine Jr. Results official, number seven, San Vic, 462. Bill and Laney Sanders of Stevenson, Alabama, and congratulations. You certainly have a very nice horse here. Thank you very much. We're proud of Vic. He's done really well. Did you buy him as a yearling, or did you breed him yourself? I actually bought him as a baby, as a year, uh, as a weanling, uh, at a very low price sale. And uh, I liked his looks and liked his attitude, and uh, he's proven okay. Now, when did you first dis uh, realize what kind of horse he was going to be? He's now seven for ten with three seconds, a terrific two-year-old season. Yes, uh, we thought he would be good uh, earlier. When I, I trained him myself, and we saw some potential there, but you never realize it was going to be as well he's done. So uh, when he won the, when he, when he ran away in the Arden, won by 10 or 12, we thought maybe he might be decent. Okay, well, you've got the final coming up next week. Is that going to be it for him this year, or do you have other races planned? No, he's, he's in the uh, Bluegrass next week, next Thursday. He's also now, of course, in the final two weeks from now, and uh, if things go well, we plan to take him to the Meadowlands. 
All right. Well, good luck in the Breeders' Crown if you get there. Uh, Lainey, did you have a role in this horse's uh, career? I just cheer him on. Well, you're certainly doing a great job. Bill and Lainey, congratulations on Sandvik, and we'll see you back a little bit later on. Sam?